Hello, what's up? It's your boy, Chaotic JGD21. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for returning. It means a lot to me that you have returned to partake in my video. Today is going to be my very first game review and we are going to be talking about Horizon Forbidden West. If you like how I do this game review and you would like to see more, let me know what game you'd like me to check out in the comment below. This is an open world RPG with a great story and side quests until your heart is content. There are so many side quests in this game, it is ridiculous. Um, I think I only, I don't even think I did all of them. I think I did, uh, I think maybe 15% of the side quests, I think. Uh, this game continues the story from Horizon Zero Dawn and the aftermath of the huge battle to save Meridian from Hades. Now, you travel into the west and come across new lands, new people, new machines, and new ways to traverse the map and make the battles you encounter more in your favor due to the knowledge you have from the scans to the height you can gain by using your grapple and setting up traps to take on many people or huge machines. And believe me, this one's got a bunch of huge machines, let me tell you. A quick version of the story is the land is being overrun by this virus or plague that was released by Hephaestus, and you are tasked with restoring Gaia and the sub-functions that help keep the planet going. Alright, now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of the review. The combat system was great. It took what you did in Zero Dawn and kind of amplified what you could do via a skill tree system. You could be a melee warrior, a survivalist, a trapper, and among other skills that you could acquire. You encounter new machines to override and use them to your advantage to traverse the map and uh, help you out in your fights. The story itself was amazing. You really felt the anger and the frustration with some of the characters, and then you felt sadness. It was a crazy range of emotions the whole time. You are met with some familiar faces like Aaron and Varl, and make some new friends with people like Zoe and Alva. You create new relationships with people you meet, and it is just an overall great time. Now, here comes the fun part, the things that I hated. There are a couple of things that I had a little problem with, and it wasn't like anything game-breaking, but it was super annoying when you're trying to do something and the screen freaks out, or you can't get a good hit on the machines because the camera was trying to recenter, and all it would do was just spin. Another thing that I hated was the climbing mechanics. I guess I'm just used to the whole God of War where it was super smooth to just climb where you were supposed to. In this game, the climbing was really janky, and instead of just climbing up, it would either send you to the left or the right, and it would just send you to a spot that you couldn't climb, and it was just, it, it was just very difficult. One more thing that I didn't like, unless I didn't do a side quest to unlock it yet, but I didn't like how you couldn't use the glider as a shield. Like, um, uh, like there's a part in the game, spoiler, uh, where you fight the chieftains in the in the rebel camp, and you get the you get the glide shield from this dude, and he was using it as a shield. But the only way that you could use it was as a like a parachute or whatever. All right, so that's all the gripes I have for the game. Overall, it's a 98% in my book just because of those couple things. Um, if you're looking for a very, very great story-driven game, this is the game for you. Uh, whether you have um, the time to play it, the money to buy it, or if you just have the time to actually watch somebody go through the story, definitely check it out. It is definitely worth it. I can't wait for the third one to come out because there's some major things that happen to where there's going to be a, there's definitely going to be a third one. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a must see, must play type of game. So that is all for this video. If you liked how, if you liked my take on it and want me to do some other reviews, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll play the game. I'll do a review, whatever. Um, definitely make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell so that way you know when I upload a new video. Um, there's going to be a couple of more uh, reviews that 
I kind of have in the works, so you'll definitely want to make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell, so that way you know when those are uploaded, you can get my take. I'm not really good at describing things or whatever, but I'm trying to get a little bit better at that, so that way, something that I enjoy, which is definitely, you know, gaming, especially the story-driven games, I can give you guys my take on it, and then you guys can just go from there. Uh, I was going to try to do uh, like a like a playthrough or whatever of this game, but uh, I ended up I ended up just playing it on my stream. I think I played the yeah, I played the entire game over on my stream. So if you want to go check that out, it's over on Twitch and it's the same as the YouTube name chaotic JGD 21. And if you would like to see more uh, gameplays, let me know what game you'd like to see me play in the comments below and uh yeah thank you so much for tuning in i do appreciate it and i will see you in the next review